Good evening, this is Casey Olson with the Utah Climate Center. This would be an excellent weekend to head up into the mountains and say goodbye to our beloved snowpack of winter 23 to 24, because most stations are reporting a decreasing trend typical of this time of year. And once it starts, it happens fast, thanks to some positive feedbacks that further increase warming. We begin our short-term forecast with a very nebulous and weak low pressure sliding in from the Pacific early Friday morning. In fact, the next series of storms looks to, to be weak disturbances rather than well-defined areas of low pressure. In terms of precip with this first wave, it isn't anything fancy, but will result in a tilting of the main flow slightly southward. This will pull warmer air into the region, beginning a pattern of warming into next week. Moving into the, into the weekend, zonal flow, meaning west to east winds, will keep our weather benign till Sunday with cloud cover in and out. Another weak system will just barely graze us Monday morning, likely doing little more than dropping our temperatures a few degrees. Looking into early next work week, a solidly formed high pressure will finally start to settle in following a period where the weather did not want to commit. The next series of systems looks much more well-defined as well, arriving by mid to late next week, though details on this are sparse at best. Now onto temperatures. The far northern valleys will hover around the 60s before ramping up the, to the mid to upper 60s by the late weekend. Salt Lake, Eastern, and Central Valleys will hit these temperatures a day earlier, finally peaking around the mid 70s on Sunday. Southern Utah low elevations are about at that point where we're starting to see the upper 80s. With the Utah Climate Center, I'm Casey Olson.